Interview 46, July 1997, Nutley, New Jersey. All's I'm, or think about the Holocaust. Was the Holocaust a good thing? No way. Does anybody think it was good it happened? No way. But did you ever read Viktor Frankl? Viktor Frankl's Man's Search for Meaning? It's a great, great book. Frankl was in a camp in the Holocaust, and the book comes out of that experience. It's about his experience in the human dark side and preserving his human identity in the face of the camp's degradation and violence and suffering and total ripping away of identity. It's a totally great, brilliant book, and now think about it. If there wasn't a Holocaust, there wouldn't be a man's search for meaning. Q. All I was trying to say is you have got to be careful of taking a knee-jerk attitude about violence and degradation in the case of women also. Having a knee-jerk attitude about anything is a total mistake. That's what I'm saying. But I'm saying especially in the case of women, where it adds up to this very limited, condescending thing of saying they're fragile or breakable things and can be destroyed so easily. Like we have to wrap them in cotton and protect them more than everybody else. That it's knee-jerk and condescending. I'm talking about dignity and respect, not treating them like they're fragile little dolls or whatever. Everybody gets hurt and violated and broken sometimes. Why are women so special? Q. All I'm saying is who are we to say getting incested or abused or violated or whatever or any of those things can't also have their positive aspects for a human being in the long run? Not that it necessarily does all the time, but who are we to say that it never does in a knee-jerk way? Not that anybody ever ought to get raped or abused. Not that it's not totally terrible and negative and wrong while it's going on. No question. Nobody'd ever say that. But that's while it's going on. The rape or violation or incest or abuse while it's going on. What about afterwards? What about down the line? What about the bigger picture then of the way her mind deals with what happened to her? Adjust to deal with it. The way what happened becomes part of who she is. All I'm saying, it's not impossible there are cases where it can enlarge you, make you more than you were before, more of a complete human being, like Viktor Frankl, or that old saying about how whatever doesn't kill you makes you stronger. You think whoever it was said that was for a woman getting raped? No way. He just wasn't being knee-jerk. I'm not saying there's no such thing as a victim. All I'm saying is we tend to sometimes be so narrow-minded about the myriads of different things that go into making somebody into who he is. I'm saying we get so knee-jerk and condescending about rights and perfect fairness and protecting people, we don't stop and remember nobody's just a victim, and nothing is just negative and just unfair. Almost nothing is like that. All's how it's possible even the worst things that can happen to you can end up being positive factors in who you are. What you are, being a full human being instead of just a Think about getting gang-raped and degraded and beaten down to within an inch of your life, for example. Nobody's going to say that's a good thing. I'm not saying that. Nobody's going to say the sick bastards that did it shouldn't go to jail. Nobody's suggesting she was in any way liking it while it was happening or that it should have happened. But let's put two things into the perspective here. One is, afterwards she knows something about herself she didn't know before. Q. What she knows is that the totally most terrible, degrading thing that she ever could have even imagined happening to her has really happened to her now. And she survived. She's still here. I'm not saying she's thrilled. I'm not saying she's thrilled about it or she's in great shape or clicking her heels together out of joy it happened. But she's still here. And she knows it. And now she knows something. I mean, really knows. Her idea of herself and what she can live through and survive is bigger now. Enlarged, larger, deeper. She's stronger than she ever deep down thought, and now she knows it. She knows she's strong in a totally different way from knowing it just because your folks tell you or some speechmaker at a school assembly has you all repeat you're somebody, you're strong over and over. All I'm saying is she's not the same in some of the ways she's not the same, like if she's still afraid at midnight walking to her car in a parking garage or whatever of getting jumped and gang raped, now she's afraid in a different way. Not that she wants it to ever happen again, getting gang raped, No way. But now she knows it won't kill her. She can survive it. It won't obliterate her or make her subhuman. And plus now also she knows more about the human condition and suffering and terror and degradation. I mean, all of us will admit suffering and horror are part of being alive and existing, or at least we all pay lip service to knowing it, the human condition. 
but now she really knows it. I'm not saying she's thrilled about it, but think how much bigger now her view of the world is, how much more broad and deep the big picture is now in her mind. She can understand suffering in a totally different way. She's more than she was. That's what I'm saying. More of a human being. Now she knows something you don't. Q. That's the knee-jerk reaction. That's what I'm talking about. Taking everything I say and taking and filtering it through your own narrow view of the world and saying what I'm saying is, oh, so the guys that gang raped her did her a favor. Because that's not what I'm saying. I'm not saying it was good or right or it should have happened or that she's not totally fucked up by it and shattered and it ever should have happened. For any one case of a woman getting gang raped or violated or whatever, if I was there and I could have the power to either say, go ahead or stop, I'd stop it. But I couldn't. Nobody could. Totally terrible things happen. Existence and life break people in all kinds of awful fucking ways all the time. Trust me, I know. I've been there. Q. And I get the feeling this is the real difference. You and me here. Because this isn't really about politics or feminism or whatever. For you, this is all ideas. You think we're talking about ideas. You haven't been there. I'm not saying nothing bad ever happened to you. You're not bad looking, and I bet there's been some degradation or whatever that came your way in your life. That's not what I'm saying. But we're talking Frankel's man's search for meaning, Holocaust-type total violation and suffering and terror here. The real dark side. And baby, I can tell just from just looking at you, you never. You wouldn't even wear what you're wearing. Trust me. Q. That you might admit you believe, yeah, okay, the human condition is full of terrible, awful human suffering and you can survive almost anything or whatever. Even if you really believe it. You believe it, but what if I said I don't just believe it, I know it? Does that make a difference in what I'm saying? What if I tell you my own wife got gang-raped? Not so sure of yourself now, are you? What if I told you a little story about a 16-year-old girl that went to the wrong party with the wrong guy and his buddies and ended up get having done to her just about everything four guys could do to you in terms of violation? Six weeks in the hospital. What if I told you she still has to go in for dialysis twice a week? That's how bad they did her. Q. What if I told you she'd never say she in any way asked for it or enjoyed it or liked it or likes only having half a kidney and if she could go back and have a way to stop it, she would, but if you asked her if she could go into her head and forget it or like erase the tape of it happening in her memory, what do you think she'd say? Are you so sure what she'd say? That she wishes she never had to, like, structure her mind to deal with it happening to her to all of a sudden know the world can break you just like that. To know that another human being, these guys, can look at you lying there and in the totally deepest way understand you as a thing, not a person, a thing, a fuck doll or punching dog or a hole, as just a hole to shove a Jack Daniels bottle in so far it blows out your kidneys. If she said after that, totally negative as what happened was, now at least she understood it was possible, people can, 